Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on your Chromecast with Google TV. If you don't already know, Kodi is an all-in-one app that gives you access to free premium movies and TV shows if you have the right add-ons. While Kodi itself is 100% legit, the add-ons that allow you to access the free content fall into a bit of a gray area. And because of that, I do not recommend using this without a VPN. If you already have a VPN subscription, install and sign into it on your Chromecast now before setting up Kodi. If you don't already have a subscription, you can get one at a discounted price using the link in my description below. Once you have your VPN installed and set up, you're good to start the Kodi installation process. But before we get into it, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my future content. With that being said, let's get started. For the most seamless setup, you'll need to ensure your Chromecast is in dev mode before installing Kodi. To do that, go into settings on the top right corner and click on it. Then scroll down to system and click on that. Next, click on about. Then look for Android TV OS build and click on that seven times. After the seventh time, you'll see a message that says, you are now a developer. Once dev mode is enabled, go to the home screen. Then go to the apps tab. Scroll down to the search box. Then search for Kodi. Results for Kodi. Click on Kodi from the search results. Then click install. Once it's installed, click open to launch it. One thing to note is these Kodi add-ons take up a lot of storage space. I needed at least 1.5 gigs free for mine to work properly. So before installing add-ons into Kodi, I recommend deleting any unnecessary apps or files on your Chromecast so you can free up as much space as possible. Once you're sure that you have enough storage space available, you can start by clicking the settings gear at the top. Then scroll down and over to system and click on that. Now. Scroll down to add-on and then pan over to the right. Go to unknown sources and click on it to enable it. You'll get a pop-up warning telling you that your personal data may be shared. If you've already enabled your VPN, then you're good to go. You can click yes. If you haven't, I would highly recommend you install a VPN first before proceeding. Once unknown sources is enabled, click the back button. Now go up and over to file manager and click to open it. Next, go down to add source and click that. Click the center button once again, and you'll be given a keypad that you can use to type in your source. Go ahead and type this in, HTTP colon. To find the colon, press the shift button at the bottom left of the keyboard. Then slash slash dig z1 dot me slash digz repo. Proofread it to make sure that you didn't make any typos. And if you're all good, click OK. Then scroll down and click OK again. Now click the back button and go over and click on add-ons. Then choose the option to install from a zip file and click on that. Click on Digs Repo. Wait for the pop-up in the top right corner that says Digs Repository Add-on Installed. Then select and click on Install from Repository. Click Digs Repository. Scroll down to Program Add-ons and click that. Now, Select Chef Omega Wizard and click on that. Click Install. Click OK. Give it some time to complete the installation. Once the installation is complete, click Close to close this screen. Select and click on Yes to install a build. Click on the second option that says Digs AIO Free Plus Burst. Then click Continue. Give it some time to install. Once the installation is finished, click OK. Kodi will automatically close. Go ahead and reopen Kodi. Once it's opened, you can see that it's still installing add-ons. 
so you'll have to give it some time for the add-ons to complete installing. Once completed, you can pan over to the Install the Skins option. Click the center button and click on the center button again to install the Xenon Skin Free. Go ahead and click Yes when prompted. Give the add-on some time to complete. Once completed, select Apply Skin. Then scroll down and select Xenon Free Skin. When applied, it should bring you to the screen that looks like this. If it acts up for whatever reason, then follow these steps to clear the cache and try again. Close Kodi, go to Settings, Apps, locate the Kodi app, select Clear Cache, then Force Stop. Now, open Kodi again. It should successfully bring you to the Xenon home screen. And there you have it. From here, you can watch premium movies, TV shows, and even play retro video games using the built-in arcade. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.